And welcome back to WCCF Tech TV, everyone. This is Keith again, and I know we've been coming at you fast and hard with the rise in information, but we have even more coming out this time around regarding the motherboards. So the great news is the wait for Ryzen is just about over. So thanks to the online retailer EO in Australia, we now have a look at a few of the motherboards and their pricing and availability. Now these are all four from ASUS, and they range from the B250 Micro ATX up to the overclocking oriented X370 motherboards from ASUS. Now starting off the list, we have the ASUS Prime B250M-A coming in at $69. So this is going to be a very budget oriented B-class board that does still support overclocking. However, the ability to overclock on this board will be limited obviously by the um, cooling of the VRMs and power delivery. Moving up we have the B350 Plus that's going to be a full ATX motherboard. Will again allow overclocking. We see this one has a bit beefier uh, cooling on it. Comes in at $89 US. Now moving up to the X370 platform which is where most people are probably going to be aimed for especially if they're going for a full ATX build for the superior overclocking of the board as well as the feature set. Now, the Prime X370 Pro comes in at $149, just a little bit cheaper than the Z270 variant. So for those people hoping to see the motherboards on the AMD side to be a little bit cheaper, it looks like that's going to come to fruition. So it may have been in their favor to stick to the pin grid array package rather than the LGA, saving the motherboard manufacturers a little bit of cost. Now, moving up to the big daddy, the ASUS Crosshair 6 Hero. Now this is the Hero variant, the same one, it's very similar, it almost looks identical to the Z270 board that we've already taken a look at that we'll be using to compare the 7700K up against, well, whichever Ryzen chip that we can get our hands on, but this will be the motherboard that we're going with and it's quite frankly great seeing the feature parity between the two and the fact that this one is coming in $20 less. So factor in the, call, the savings that we're seeing in the card above, you can see what we're expecting to see come in price wise with the Ryzen chip. So the savings there could be substantial while still getting great performance. Now according to the product pages on these sites, we're looking at a release date of February the 24th. However, availability will not hit until March 2nd. So as always, until we see the actual performance of these chips, we're just looking at the leaks and speculated numbers. So until we can't really substantiate actual performance until we can get our hands on it. So things are looking great. And like I said previously, the wait for Ryzen is almost over. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech. If you found the video informative or entertaining, please feel free to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have questions and we'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you.